question number five the frequency distribution of demand of a certain items is as follow find skewness and coefficient of skewness now this is the i think first time they are asking skewness separately and even the coefficient of skewness by carl pearson matter and here the information is half is given in the discrete and half is given in the continuous frequency distribution and this is what the frequency is given अब फ्रीक्वेंसी में देखे तो भाई हाईएस्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी है ट्वेंटी जो रिपीट तो नहीं हुई है पर ऑब्जर्वेशन अनइक्वल दिया है क्योंकि आधा डिस्क्रिएट है आधा कंटिन्यूस है तो यहाँ पे हम मीडियन वाला फॉर्मूला यूज करेंगे इन कार्पियस इन मैटेड टू फाइंड आउट कोफिशन ऑफ स्क्यूनेस इन इवन स्क्यूनेस सो फर्स्ट टेक द इंफॉर्मेशन इन द बुक ये राइट टू इंफॉर्मेशन सो एज आधी इंफॉर्मेशन हमें कंटिन्यूस फ्रिक्वेंसी में डीज टू में दिया है तो सबसे पहले मिड वैल्यू फाइंड आउट कर ले वैल्यू फाइंडिंग द मिड वैल्यू वन टू थ्री की वैल्यू तो एज इट इज दी है तो जस्ट कॉपी डाउन एंड टू फाइंड आउट मिड वैल्यू फोर प्लस एट डिवाइड बाय टू यू विल गेट सिक्स एट प्लस ट्वेल्व विल बी ट्वेंटी डिवाइड बाई टू टेन दिस इज हाउ फाइंड आउट फॉर द नेक्स्ट सो आफ्टर फाइंडिंग मिड वैल्यू दैट वुड बी योर एक्स एंड हेयर इज द फ्रिक्वेंसी गेट दैम मल्टीप्लाई टू फाइंड आउट एफ एक्स और उसके बाद हम फाइंड आउट करेंगे मी द मल्टीप्लीकेशन टेन वन जा टेन एट टू जा सिक्सटी दैन ट्वेल्व थ्री जा थर्टी सिक्स टेन सिक्स जा सिक्सटी फाइव टेन जा फिफ्टी फिफ्टीन इंटू फोर्टीन टू वन जीरो ट्वेंटी इंटू एटीन थ्री सिक्सटी एंड द टोटल इज सेवन फोर टू सो फर्स्ट वील फाइंड आउट द मी जिगमा एफ एक्स अपॉन एन सेवन फोर टू डिवाइड बाई एटी and here we get the answer in decimal with the 9.28 the next we find out is median as it is the half is continuous hum uh, bada wala formula use karenge so value of n upon 2 continuous ho to plus 1 mat rakhna observation n is 80 upon 2 the observation and here we get 40 To find out the forty, first we'll find out CF, cumulative frequency. Ten, ten plus eight, eighteen plus twelve, thirty plus ten, forty. Just do it. Continue with the same process. I hope by the now you can understand how to go with the cumulative frequency. The forty hai yahan pe exact forty point ke upper aage koi number nahi hai. To yehi se ham line drag kar sakte hain. Here is the lower limit. This will be our frequency, and this will be our cumulative frequency. And four minus eight, that is four, will be our class length. Now we will keep formula for two minus C F upon frequency into C. The lower limit is four. N upon two is forty minus C F is thirty. Frequency is ten, and the class length is four. Ten upon ten into four. Forty upon ten. Which will be four plus four, eight. So here we get the median. Now we need us to find out standard deviation. That is sigma f x square upon n minus sigma f x upon n whole square. So here we need. एफ एक्स स्क्वायर कॉलम विच इज मल्टीप्लाई एफ एक्स विद एक्स कॉलम दैट इज टेन वन जा टेन सिक्सटीन टू जा थर्टी टू एंड कंटिन्यू विद द रिमेनिंग एंड द टोटल ऑफ दिस कॉलम इज वन जीरो फोर थ्री जीरो विल कीप इन वैल्यू ओवर वन जीरो फोर थ्री जीरो डिवाइड बाई एटी माइनस Seven four two divided by eighty whole square, and the division of this here we get one thirty point thirty eight minus the division of this nine point twenty eight whole square. One thirty point thirty eight minus nine point twenty eight multiplied by nine point twenty eight, you will get eighty six point twelve. Get them subtract forty four point twenty six, and the final answer is six point sixty five. So here we have the value of mean, median, and standard deviation. And here first we, the question is asking for the skewness as well. So first we'll keep the skewness value three 
mean minus median. 3. Mean is given 9.28 minus median is 8. 3. Get them subtract. It will be 1.28 and the multiplication of this will be 3.84. The next the question is asking is the coefficient of skewness where the same formula but with standard deviation. So 3, 9.28 minus 8 upon the standard deviation is 6.65. Just copy down the steps what we have already solved. That is 3.84 divided by 6.65 and here we get the final answer 0 0.58. So here we complete question number 5. Moving to the next question number 6. Question number 6. A sample of 50 screws was taken from the lots of screw product produced at a factory to measure the diameters in millimeter of head of each screw and its frequency distribution is as follow. Find Bowley's coefficient of skewness and interpret it. So now that's what the information is given in the question which I have copied over here. As you can see the observation is not given not even in the exclusive not even in the inclusive. Here 4 to 4.1 it is something different right. And here you can see the frequency in the increasing order. I mean you have the cumulative frequency given. So you have the cumulative frequency ready. But because we have to use the method of Bowley's method. We need to use the frequency every time. And this is in the continuous frequency distribution. So in the frequency formula, we need to use the frequency. So we have to find out the frequency. And this observation class. We have to keep proper limits there. Because this is a continuous frequency. In the big formula, we need a lower limit. And even class length. So first, let's make a correct observation. We have to correct the class first. That is, 4. Here, first I am picking 4 to 4.1. Next is 4 to 4.2. So this is our upper limit in the lower limit. And take it as a 4.2. But here it will match not match. So 4.1 or 0.2 is the difference. है. So we will take it with 0. So 1, 2, then 4.2 to 4.3. 4.3 to 4.4. This is how you have to make first correct observation. Correct class length. Then you will go to 6 to 4.7. 4.7 to 4.8. So here I am ready with the correct class and for the cumulative, out of the cumulative frequency I need a correct frequency. So frequency to find the frequency, by 6 minus 0 we will take it frequency as a 6 only. Then we will take a 13 minus 6 you will get 7. Then take 23 minus 13. Upper value number se minus kar do you will get 10 then 33 minus 23 ye calculation dikhane ki zarurat nahi hai but this is just for the explanation i am taking aap directly kar sakte ho next is 41 minus 33 that is 8 46 minus 41 will be 5 and 48 minus 46 will be 2 and 50 minus 48 is 2 so here the total number of frequency is 50. As the question is asking in Bowley's matter, where we will keep first value of n upon 4. So observation, because this continuous frequency distribution, we will keep the formula rakhenge hum. value of 50 upon 4th observation. And the answer is 12.5th observation. So cumulative frequency में जाके देखते हैं कि भाई 12.5 कहाँ आएगा तो 13 दिख रहा है उल्टा जाते हैं ये हो गया हमारा CF उसी के लाइन में ये हो गया हमारा lower limit और ये frequency Q1 L plus N upon 4 minus CF upon frequency into C the lower limit is 4.1 N upon 4 is 12.5 minus cf is 6 and the frequency is 7 class length get the minus 4.1 minus 4.2 you will get 0 0.1 so 
so next the subtraction will be 6.5 upon 7 into 0 0.1 4.1 plus get the multiply 0. Point, it will be 0. 0.65 divided by 7 plus division of this 0. 0.09 and the final answer is 4.90 this is half q when we find out next we'll find out q 3 value of the same formula but just don't forget to keep 3 observation 50 upon 4th observation 3 upon 12.5 and here we get the Q3 is 37.5th observation so checking the CF 37 here to 41 33 will be the cumulative frequency lower limit will be 4.4 and the frequency will be 8 4 minus CF upon frequency into C lower limit here we found 4.4 3 and upon 4 the calculation 37.5 minus cf that is 33 and the frequency is 8 into the class length 0.1 4.4 plus the subtraction of this 4.5 upon 8 to 0.1 get them multiply you will get 0 0.45 divided by 8 and the division of this two will be 0, 0.0 56 and the final answer 4.46 so here we are ready with the q1 q3 and the next we need is median Twenty fifth observation. Now uh, that would be again come to the thirty three. यहाँ पे ऊपर twenty three है जो कम है twenty five से. तो twenty three will be our CF and four point five will be our L lower limit and the frequency will be ten. So let's keep all the value. That is 4.3 and upon 2 is 25. CF hai hamara 23. Frequency tha 10 and class length 0.1. The subtraction that is 2 upon 10 into 0.1. 2 into 0.1 will be 0 0.2 divided by 10 plus 0 0.02 and the final answer is 4.32. So all three informations are ready, Q1, Q3 and median. Now we'll keep the Bowley's method coefficient of skewness. As the question is asking directly, coefficient of um, skewness. Here I get all the value in the formula. The sub, uh, addition of this will be 8.65 minus the multiplication of this 8.64 divided by and the subtraction of this 0.23. That is 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.23 and the answer is 0 0.04. Here we complete the sixth question. Moving to the next seventh 